Hi everybody, it's Dave Blinder. This morning I'm out doing a brief nature walk before uh, real estate business, and I'm at the Troy Meadows Nature Preserve in Parsippany, New Jersey. One of my favorite areas to uh, come and observe wildlife or just uh, enjoy some tranquility. I'll apologize for the uh, red-bellied woodpecker who may be interrupting my speech right now. He doesn't know any better, maybe. Anyways, uh, I want to do a quick talk. Um, you know, I've had friends and family approach me or speak to me in the past saying that maybe they haven't seen or observed certain types of uncommon wildlife such as maybe an owl or a bobcat so they're not even really positive that animal exists in New Jersey um, but my answer to that is always well why would you be why would an animal like that be seeking you out why would an owl or bobcat show up at your front door as they're not necessarily looking for you so on my nature walks what I do is I really enjoy the scavenger hunt of seeking out the wildlife habitat, you know, maybe looking for a, a den site or a tree that could be suitable for a kind of a tree nesting animal. And that really leads you to uh, more in-depth wildlife studies. It helps you understand the lives of the wildlife better and can lead to some more profound wildlife photographs also, I find, because then you know a lot more about the animals life cycle and you can really depict that in your artwork which can be very uh, interesting and uh, multi-dimensional for for photographs or painting or whatever your art form should be so it's going to be difficult to see but my camera on a tripod right now is pointing at a a tree cavity it had a large branch break off so this is just you know random habitat that i kind of look for when i'm doing my wildlife or nature walks is you know, are there tree cavities? Is there a dense patch of, of cedar trees that could be a, a grove for owls? Are there dens in the ground that would be perfect for a, the soil would be great and easy excavation for a fox or coyote den or something like that or a rocky enclosure for a bear? And I love these kind of uh, scavenger hunts of nature for me are, are really enjoyable. And even if I don't see the animal, I'm enjoying my time outdoors the whole time. So I'm going to zoom in the back of my camera, which is, I do have pointed directly at that tree cavity, and we'll go in for a closer look. So as it focuses, you can see there is indeed some fur in this tree, and I don't know about you, but I've never seen a naturally occurring tree with fur in it. So it's hard to be 100% positive, but my assumption would be that this is currently a raccoon den in this uh, tree with a large broken off branch in the distance. Uh, whoops, there's ice branching. That was startle ice breaking, which was startling on the uh, West Brook or Troy Brook area. Um, and anyways, when you find a cavity like this with a broken off tree limb, this could be perfect for a, a multitude of wildlife being here in uh, New Jersey. So obviously uh, it, it is outstanding for raccoons because of the cover that a tree cavity provides the uh, protection from elements, protection from its natural predators like owls. However, a uh, broken off tree branch is also perfect for an owl itself. They, they love nesting in them. They also want protection from the elements is they don't really care to be seen by humans or hawks or other owls or anything like that. So I always recommend doing these walks with uh, a telephoto lens, but also binoculars. I'll push them in front of you right now. Um, and that really stimulates my senses when I'm out there looking for wildlife. I, I'm enjoying all these little critters outdoors. I'm, I'm taking in the, uh, the natural heritage of New Jersey all the while. And that kind of prepares me for a work day because I've gotten, uh, you know, kind of my interests out of the way and I can move on to uh, some income generating activities, hopefully. So if you have any questions about detecting wildlife or looking for their habitat or if you'd like to talk about your own experiences and, and what you like to look for when you're out there seeking wildlife, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you.